his voice, then you and I are going to make the best decisions. Amen. Because God knows what's best for us. Amen. 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 So how do I reach that place where I not only know about God, but I know God? Mm -hmm. How do I reach that place where I have an intimate relationship with God? Glad you asked. There are three things you and I can do if we want to get to know God. Amen. If we want to develop an intimate relationship. What's the first one? First thing you and I need to do, and I'm going to apologize in advance, it's not that deep, okay? I know a lot of people, they come to church, they just want to hear something deep and profound, and what on, thus saith the Lord. So I'm going to apologize, it's not that deep, it's very necessary, uh -huh. but it's not that deep. First thing you and I need to do, if we want to develop an intimate relationship with God, we need to simply... Read his word. I know. That's not what you were expecting. I know you were expecting something a little more deeper than that, but I've already apologized. Amen. Okay? Amen. The first thing we need to do is read his word. Amen. Why? Because everything you and I need to know about God mm -hmm. is in his word. Yes. Everything you, need, you and I need to know about God is in his word. What he likes. What he doesn't like. How he responds in this situation. How he responds in that situation. What he will want you to do in this situation. In that situation. How he wants you to treat your spouse. How he wants you to raise your kids. How he wants you to manage your money. Yeah. Everything you need to know about God is in his yeah. word. Yeah. You know, God often makes the parallel with his relationship with us to that of a husband and a wife. Mm -hmm. So to all the married couples out there, what if there was a book entitled Everything You Need to Know About Your Spouse? Everything You Need to Know About Your Spouse. Pastor Peterson, what if there was a book? Everything You Need to Know About Natasha. Everything You Need to Know About Natasha. Would you not go out and buy that book right now? Would you not go to Barnes and Nobles and immediately fall in service and buy that book? And I guarantee, if you didn't buy it for you, she buy it for you. Say amen, First Lady. Amen. Amen. So yes, everything you, need, you and I need to know about God is in His Word. So the first thing you and I need to do we need to read his word. And I'm not talking about just following along on Sunday morning. Come on. I'm not talking about just following along on, uh, on uh, uh, Bible study night. Mm -hmm. I'm talking about reading his word every single day. Yeah. Not snippets here, not snippets there, yeah. but the whole thing. Amen. Cover to yeah. cover. Yeah. Genesis to Revelation. Yeah. Do you know how many people have been saved for 10 years, mm -hmm. 20 years, and have never read this thing cover to cover? Mm. You and I need to do that. We need to set aside some time every single day where we're reading his word. I know you have a busy schedule. I know everyone has a busy schedule, but we need to fit some time in every day to read his word, even if it's only one chapter per day. We need to find a way to fit that in. There are 1,189 chapters in the Bible. If you and I read one chapter a day, we would finish it in about three and a half years. Mm -hmm. Now, I know that seems like a long time, but you'd be surprised how many people you'd be ahead of at the end of those three and a half years. <laughs> Amen? You'd be surprised how many people you're ahead of. And also, you'd be surprised just how much your relationship with God will have grown That's right. in that time period. Amen. And if anybody's had any experience like I have, sometimes when you're reading his word, he will speak to you while you're reading his word. Mm -hmm. You might not even be searching for anything. You're just doing your daily reading. Your daily reading. But he will speak to you while you're reading his word. Mm -hmm. So we need to get into the habit of reading every day. Amen? Amen. Amen. Second thing you and I need to do, if we want to develop an intimate relationship with God, 
We need to simply talk to God. We need to talk to God. I know it sounds funny, but how can you get to know someone if you don't talk to them? Come on. How can you get to know somebody if you don't talk to them? No. You can't do it. <laughs> Pastor John Renee. Yes, sir. Would you have ever gotten to know Michelle if you had never talked to her? I don't think so. Would you ever have been able to develop a relationship with Michelle if you had never talked to her? I don't believe so. I know it sounds funny, but you and I need to talk to God. We need to revamp our prayer life. We need to talk to God every single day. You can talk to God about any and everything. He's waiting for you to talk to him. He wants you to talk to him. Tell him how your day was. Tell him what you're upset about. Tell him what you're frustrated with. You can tell him that your boss is getting on your nerves. Talk to God. Tell him anything. And guess what? His prayer line is open 24-7. There is not a time, any day, where you cannot talk to God. I'm sorry. But if y'all call me at 2 o'clock in the morning, <laughs> you'll be lucky if you get a response. You call me between the hours of 9 and 5. I have a job. <laughs> You'll be lucky if you get a response. You call me between the hours of 5 and 10 o'clock at night. Me and my wife might be watching one of our shows. <laughs> You'll be lucky <laughs> if you get a response. But thanks be to God Amen. that we can call him whenever we want. Yes. In the late in the midnight hour, yes. first thing in the morning, there is not a time in the day where you cannot talk to God. Amen. Amen. And we not only need to talk to God, but we need to listen mm. to God. Mm. Open up your ears. Open up your heart. Listen to what God is trying to tell you. Look at what, look at what, uh, what, what Eli told Samuel to do. He says, the next time God calls you, say, speak, Lord. For your servant is what? Listening. Listening. Talk to God. Listen to what he has to tell you. Amen? Amen. Amen. Third thing you and I need to do. We want to develop an intimate relationship with God. If we want to get to know God. And notice the trend that these are things that we ought to be doing daily, not once a week. Notice the trend. Mm -hmm. Third thing you and I need to do. We need, we need to take some time out of our day and just worship God. Amen. Yes. Amen. Amen. Take some time out of your day and just worship God. Mm. Just you and God. Go somewhere where there's no distractions. Turn your cell phone off and just worship God. Mm. Tell him how much you love him. Tell him how much he means to you. Thank him for all that he has done for you. Thank him for all the blessings that he's given you. Give him the praise that is due to him. That's right. You know, the Bible says that he inhabits the praise That's right. of his people. Amen. Amen. So if God is inhabiting my praise, that when I am praising, when I am worshiping God, God is right there living in my worship. He is right there. Ooh. His presence is right there right. when I worship God. Amen. So if his presence is right there, I can feel God. Mm -hmm. I can feel his holiness. Mm -hmm. I can feel his righteousness. I can feel his purity. I can feel his strength. Mm -hmm. I can feel his peace yeah, when I'm worshiping God. You ever been in a situation where you were just just stressed out about something before you worship, and then after you worship, you felt peace of mind? Amen. You ever been in a situation where you were feeling very sad about something? Then after you worship God, you felt happy? You felt joy? You ever been in a situation where you felt weak and defeated, mm. but after you worship God, you found the strength, you felt you felt encouraged to keep on going yes. because God's presence is right there Amen. when you worship God. What better way to get to know God 